All right, this is again 2.6.6, and I'm going to show you how to do a uh, mask clipping, and I'm going to show you how to do uh, reflecting text. And if you can do the mask clipping, the first thing I'll show you is just how to do something similar with this: put image within a text. And the second thing I'll show you is pretty much this texture here, and how there's like a reflection. You can angle that and do different stuff with it. So let's see, file new. I'll show you how to do the mask clipping first and the width and height is really up to you so I'll just go with a thousand width height of 500 alright now if you want a transparent background just go down here to advanced options and the fill width make sure this is transparent alright and when you get to here just go to your text tool over here and have a text box made as big as you want. And for this, just type in whatever you're wanting to type in here. And here's where you choose your font. Really, it's all up to you. I use Terminator font. <laughs> just make it as big as you want. Alright. Now you need to choose the picture that you want you're wanting to put in here. And for this I use let's go to your pictures. Let's see, I use this it's like a wallpaper. Just drag it over your layers. And if you remember the text was about right here, so I'm going to drag the photo to about where it was. It's about where it was. Alright, now, once you have the picture about where the text is going to be, go to your text layer, make sure that's highlighted, right click it, and go off to selection. And you can see the image that's going to be within the text here. And I'm not going to really bother with the image too much, but if you wanted to move the image so you can get a better result in the end just have your image layer selected and just go to your move tool you can move it around all right well, once you have where it's at you want it just make sure you have your text layer selected go to select invert all right. and once you push to invert go back to your layer your image layer select that hit cut Boom. And from here, just go to your layer and merge down. And layer, merge down. That way, you have all in one layer. And from here, just go ahead and cut. And you have a transparent background. And basically, what that means is once you put it on the web, you can, you can see right through it. All you're going to be able to see is just this this text with the image in it. That's all you're going to be able to see and you can't see nothing else. This is what the checkerboard here means. And if this been the one I was going to use, I would actually resize this. So, well this wasn't here. But, alright, when you're going to save it, save as, you know, save it wherever you want. I'll, I'll save it on the desktop. I'll save it right here. Dot. All right, you're going to want to save it as either a ping PNG or a GIF, GIF, and those are the only formats that will support transparency on here, and save as, all right, convert, just don't really mess with that, just export. For some reason my computer's taking a little while. Go to interlace. Make sure interlace is selected, and you have. It. Make sure when you do it though that you have it selected. Just go to your rectangle, select, and choose what you want here. 
and from here. Right there, just edit, just edit, cut, and to find out what the size is right here, just go to tools, transform tools, scale, and that area right here that's selected right now is 998231. Just go file, new, advanced options. Make sure the fill width is transparent, and then just type in this information over here, and you'll get a box the same size as this. And then just edit paste and save it then. All right, now file. All right, don't save. All right, now if you want to do a text with looks like it has reflection, you go new. And for this, I'm gonna have it, let it have a background color. The background color is gonna be white, which you can see this over here. The foreground is black, and you can choose the foreground too. So it's going to be black. Okay, Let's see. Text. For the reflection, I'm only going to have it about halfway. Right. And the color of the text is right now is black. You're going to want to change that. Just go down here where it says color, and let's choose green. Alright, seems good. All right, now, on the layers section, you see there's two layers. There's the background layer, the black behind it, and the second layer is this text layer here. And then with the text layer selected, you go up to the layer and duplicate that layer. And now you have two of these. Now, with, without doing anything, just go over here to Perspective Tool and click on the top text layer. You can drag this down and see, so pretty much just made reflection. See, so transform that. If you wanted to, you could also give it a crazy angle. I'm not going to mess with it really straight. See, if you want to get it all in the picture, you'd have to make this bigger in the text box. A little smaller. But once you have that done, just go layer, merge down, and now the two text layers are together. Actually, I'm going to do that. If you want to make this a little transparent, just where it says opacity over here you can actually take that down and you can see it makes it look a little bit better it makes it look more like a reflection I'll take it to about 15 it seems good layer merge down now the two text layers are the same on the same layer and just merge that down again and there you go there's one big picture and file save as and for this one uh, JPG would be good next board save that's about there is to it